Oh, or something. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> No, it's no Honda Super, I'll say that much. <laughs> Honda, you know Honda Super is awful, right? So. interesting fight here for people on stream. Like this is kind of one of those fights that Blanca really has to play very defensive against Cami, and it's very annoying if he does. I have a lot of trouble against Fromo when I play this fight. Fromo from Arizona. Uh, oh, you got a ride? Sure, yeah, no problem. Yeah, 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 no problem, no problem. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dude, I... I did hear, I, uh, Frank told me that your dog passed away. I'm so sorry about that, so. But I know she's been around for a while, right? So how old was she? 16, okay, yeah, so. Uh, okay, okay, nice. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so this is an interesting one. So one of the nice things about Cam is that her low forward actually does really well against the stabs. And Cam, oh my god, got to watch out for off the wall there. Yeah, so it's funny because like I actually feel like unless Vega can get the heel ball going off on Cam. And that's another problem. That's another tough thing about Vega as well. Oops. Oh, here we go. Ah, it wasn't enough! <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like if it wasn't for heel ball, this would be a pretty even fight. But because of the heel ball, it's, it's slightly in Vega's advantage. Heel ball, of course, is being the, the wall dive tactic. Traded, nice early stab, early stab. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, okay. So he just, uh, Papa Claude just said he's been playing Cammy a little bit. So he's been studying the matchup. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was weird. Oh, nice. I missed my meaty. Oh. 
my uppercut. Well, that was weird. I got sucked in. Nice, nice, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, no problem, no problem. Almost had the comeback there on that one, so almost had it. Oh man. Yeah, no problem. What's going on, Robin? Uh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of things I was doing wrong there, I forgot. Whenever Vega goes off the same wall as Euron with Cami. You're just supposed to neutral jump me. Oh no, it's just he's there right now. So, so whenever he goes off that wall, you're supposed to neutral jump medium kick. So when he goes off the wall behind your head and I'm in the corner, he can't really get anything going there. I just kept forgetting to do that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like if I'm in the corner and you go off my wall. Uh, like that. So that's basically what I'm supposed to do. Whoops, I'm not hitting the button. So Vega can't really get anything going there. He can't even get the, okay, so he can do stu super, super early sab. But unless he expects that, that's what you're supposed to do like that, so. And if he goes off the opposite wall, I can always roundhouse uppercut. So if you, if you go off that wall, no matter what you do, I can always roundhouse uppercut and there's nothing that Vega can do in that situation. So I was missing a lot of that stuff, but I'm just gonna blame the fact that I didn't get a warm-up round, so. <laughs> oh my God, really? All right, this is like an, a 2-8 matchup. Cammy gets destroyed by this fight, so this is not gonna go well. She's, yeah, so basically Balrog controls the ground so well with the rush punches that, and Cammy's crouching medium kick is not fast enough. It needs to be Chun-Li speed in order for her to be able to keep up. But because it's not, she can't really keep up with uh, Balrog on the ground. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. And then every time she gets hit, she just takes way too much damage. <laughs> but it's really, really hard for her to keep up with uh, the, the low rush. And she can't even uh, neutral jump it. So it's not like the other games where you can neutral jump it and then punish it because... Oh, dang. What? Oh, God. Yeah, this is not a fun fight. See, that trades, too. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, geez, just mistimed that. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> good fight, good fight. Oh, man. See? It all depends on how many Hondas and Balrogs I fight here today on how well I'm going to do. Well, I mean, like, to be honest with you, like, Chun Li, uh, Cammy only wins two matchups, and that's Zangief and T Hawk. Outside of that, she gets killed by everybody, especially if you know the secret on how to kill her. Did you want to use this character or someone else? Oh, I see. Oh, man. Whoops. <laughs> and so Kyle is going to play Honda on me. Wonderful. No, no. Option select, just jump and hit strong. Oh, shoot. I face palmed. I definitely face palmed. Ah, she's crouching. one the hooligan throw no no no, no. you can't crouch it. it it grabs crouches just gotta hit it if you see it just touch a button and you can hit it or headbutt oh okay do the fierce headbutt do fierce headbutt yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Because I noticed, I mean, I'll be honest with you, there's an advantage of sitting next to someone because I saw you move your hands, so I know you lost charge, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the hooligan. <laughs> it's old 
arcade tactics. Oh, man. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want me to kill Honda then? Okay, okay. So is this real or are we? Uh... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So this is uh, this is secret of how to kill Cammy right here. Kyle, you need to watch this right now. Where did Kyle go? This is what he needs to watch. This is the secret of how to kill Cammy with Honda, basically. This is literally how you, this is, yes, that is, that is 100% all you need to do. Do it, and after you do that, after you do that, if you start winning, just hold down back and Cammy can't do anything. That's why this fight is 9-1. She doesn't have a button that can hit the hand slap. Yeah, she doesn't have a single button that can hit the hand slap. It doesn't work. I'll try, I'll try, yeah, far away, far away, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh. But see, this is just not a good trade right now. And you can't just risk uppercutting it all day like that either. Cammy Honda uh, is, I rated this match 10-0 one time because I just couldn't do anything. This is this is the nightmare that is Cami versus Honda. Look at that! You try to uppercut, and she ends up crouching and blocking it. I thought that was 1-1, one, one, wasn't it? Or oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 no. You definitely won the first one. Uh, is there credits? There we go. <laughs> oh man, this is... And that's the thing is too, is once Honda gets a life lead, he can just kind of chill. And I'm not sure what... Like, honestly, like, at this point in time, Gamble, once he starts winning, he doesn't even need to come at me anymore. He can just kind of, like, just jump back, hold down back, store Ocho, yeah, and that's it, basically. Oh, lucky.
Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was definitely trying a lot more than he needed to. He knew that if he just held back, he probably would have killed me, so. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's just one of those matches that if ha so once Honda gets the lead, all he has to do is jump back into the corner and store the Ocho. So if you guys don't know what stored Ocho is, you just do the motion for Ocho and hold down back. And anytime you hit jab, it automatically tries to throw. If it doesn't throw, it doesn't go away. The storage stays there. So he can just hold down back and hit jab. And anytime I go anywhere near him, he automatically Ocho throws me. And if he doesn't, then he jabs. If I'm not in range for being thrown, he just jabs me. All right, DJ, you're gonna hear this a lot from me and I'm not making up excuses, I swear, but this is not a good fight for Cammy either. Another thing that makes this fight a little hard is if DJ goes for cross-ups, Cammy is like really, really susceptible to cross-ups because she has a weird turnaround point on her on her body than everybody else. So on every other character would actually block a cross-up at a certain range. For her, it's not a cross-up. So if you're used to walking forward like it's a cross-up, you get yourself killed. is because if he throws a fireball and I get the jump in and I make him block my jumping roundhouse, he's stuck for such a long time and has no charge. That's why I just go for the hooligan right away. So, I mean... Nice. See, right there, whenever he gets the up kicks on me, he should be going for the cross-up, to be honest with you. Because that's the problem right there. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of those situations where because the cross-up is so rewarding for DJ, you just do cross-up, low jab, low jab, stand strong, and then drag kicks. So I'm, what I'm saying to people on stream is that um, anytime you knock Cammy down, go for the cross-up. So cross-up, low jab, low jab, strong, and a dread kick because she has a really bad cross-up blocking problem that a lot of other characters don't have. And so it basically is way too much reward to not go for it. So if you ever up kick me, just go for a cross up. 
Yeah. <laughs> and then also, light dread kick will go through my low medium kick. So you can try throwing that every once in a while to get me scared to hitting crouching medium kick. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, see, all I'm doing is making sure I'll never be able to win again next year. <laughs> Yeah, those are all like a lot of the different strategies that you want to use with, uh, with, um, oh. Yeah, exactly right. Arcade machines. Grr. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, boy, we got Balrog again. As I said, this pet match is tough because it's, it's about that space control. That was supposed to be a whole game. There we go. It's so hard to cross up Balrog, too. Yeah. Or just, just chip him, that's all. <laughs> Not a punish, but a chip. Yeah, but interesting enough, he's not going for a lot of low rush. There we go. That's what the low rushes are the problem. So every once in a while, you got to switch up to hooligan instead of a, instead of the light drill. Once you condition them with the light drill. try to safe jump time that one, so even if he had did done the headbutt, it would have missed me. I don't know if I got it right, because I'm terrible at safe jumps in this game, but. <laughs> oh, it's the guy. <laughs> yeah, Barra can actually just jab those spiral arrows, and that's another way you can try to punish it, but the problem is if you, if I get used to that, I can actually just follow it up and uppercut you. And it's really interesting. You want to do tip crouching medium kick, light drill without the cancel. You actually want to do it without the cancel. It's weirder and it, it's better at putting you in the right space for that drill. If you cancel it, you're actually too close like that. And you can actually get punished by a lot of things. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. always try to like save it for round enders and not use it too often just so people don't get used to it. And that's the thing is when you fight against Kami, like when you play Kami, if you learn how to play Kami, you can't go obsessive with the hooligan because then people get used to it. And so you have to... Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, how do you play on another chair? Do you want to scoot back? You can just... <laughs> Hyper fighting is... I love that game because it's like the most fun Zangief that's ever existed. Like, I will play hyper fighting Zangief forever, dude. Oh man, he landed so fast. Oh, nice, wake up. I can do that too. <laughs> oh my god, that jumping strong. That jumping strong is like her saving grace. Yeah, I know, I know. He's like, I know you're gonna hooligan. And I was like, I'm totally hooliganing. Oh my god, that this jump is so fast, but I just gotta go for a reversal. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh. 
It's like a third. Honda's like a third and then dies to a third and goes even with a third, basically. Oh, Jesus. It's so good, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a whole screen away. Oh, shoot. I was panicked. I was like, oh, God, throw, please. So let's just try to catch him off guard. Oh, that was supposed to be a hooligan. That was weird. Yeah. Missing my uppercut. There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, I, I'm I'm so cognizant of trying to throw it out in situations where, it, like, you're not expecting it, right? So it's like if it's like a counter poke here, you're like, oh, I got a block, but then here comes the hole again. So. Yeah. And that's, that's the whole trick. Like, I never try to just do the hooligan in the, just every time or just like in obvious places. I'm always trying to do it in a, yeah. Dude, it took a lot of practice getting that stupid hooligan, so. Oh no. Jesus, yes. It's not gonna be good. The funniest thing is like, Boxer is the one character I've never found a character to fight him with. My best character to fight him is Zangief right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. that's the best one that I have, so. Yeah, those are two good characters, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! Ah, Jesus, that button is so good. Like a lot of times when I play Cammy against Balrog, I just, I feel like I gotta hit random buttons just to luckily catch the charge like that. And that is still think one of the cheapest things in all of fighting game history. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Cause, yeah, and if you don't know what he's doing, so he can do the low, low rush because it's offensive crouch, but you stay charged for the headbutt. So you charge next to them and then you headbutt, but you do it early enough that it's meaty that it's completely safe on block. And that is the power of Balrog. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, I gotta try, I gotta try. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the Graham Wolf style is. Oh, this is the Graham Wolf style, huh? Interesting. Oh, too far. Oh. I stopped! I stopped! Oh. There's the super. to go for that super too. I was like, I'm gonna do super. Ow. Ugh.
Ouch. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, spinning pile drivers and super turbo in the... I'm telling you, SPDs in, in Street Fighter 2 feel so good because they're hard to do. They're a little hard to do, but you know they can't jump out of it, so it just feels so good. Oh, nice. That was the timing I needed right there. <laughs> the, the, the no zero recovery frame standing light kick right there. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> He's the only character I can fight boxer with. Do you want to fight Cammy or do you want me to just keep using Zangief? All right, we'll just do we'll do Cammy, so because that's what I was doing with everybody else. Yeah, dude, that fight is not good. There's a lot of fights for Cammy that are just not good. <laughs> But stand light kick in the SPD, just, oh man, I can't even describe to you how satisfying that feels in the Street Fighter 2 days. They can't hold up back, they can't do anything, and it's just, you're just like, yeah! And it just, uh, it's, there's, there's something visceral about things like that in fighting games that I feel like is missing from like a Street Fighter 5 game, you know? It, it, it just doesn't have that visceral kind of like, yeah! kind of thing going for it that like light punch, like light kick SPD has, you know? Oh, Sim, interesting. Now this is an interesting fight because you either know this fight or Sim is a lot of trouble in this fight, so. It was enough. <laughs> I was like, please chip, please chip. Oh. Mm. Was that supposed to be fire, not flame? Oh, flame? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is another one of those fights that, like, if you fight against, uh, if I fight El Trouble, like, I can't win this fight because he knows all the secrets of this fight. And I blame Silent Scope. So if you're watching Silent Scope, it's your fault. One more game because I want to show you a couple of things that, about this fight that make it really, really bad for. So, what makes this fight bad for Dalsum is the jump strong that Cammy has, right? So, watch, pick, pick Dalsum again, and I'll show you a couple of things. And I don't know why I'm showing you this because it's going to make me sad. But if I'm ever on top of you, use back and jab. Like, there's a, there's a timing, yeah, like if you use it like late, it's like weirdly late. Like, do it really late. 
know. Like, that's what Eugene does to me all the time, and I don't understand how he does that. But another one here is that if I'm jumping from about this range over a fireball, like, like do a down back roundhouse. So if I jump from this, what you're trying to do is hit me like Honda, right? So because if I do jumping strong, it misses, right? So if I get used to jumping strong, you can hit me with the tip of that. And at that range, I can hit you with jumping roundhouse, but there is like one magical range where that down back roundhouse will be 100% of my jump attacks. Very small, so it's still a mini game whether I use jump roundhouse or jump strong, right? Roundhouse, you can slide. Strong, you can down back roundhouse, basically. So that's kind of the thing there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but this jumping strong just beats, yeah. And yeah, and that jump strong just beats ridiculous amounts of things because this button is so good. Because like at first this fight was I thought was terrible for Dalsum, and then as soon as I started learning all these other things, now I, now I think Dalsum actually wins it, which makes me sad. <laughs> but there you go, there you go. So yeah, no problem. And then also just careful when you get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 no problem, no problem, dude. Uh, yeah, there's, a, I don't, I don't understand what it is, but Eugene has that timing down where he does the back jab, and he actually jabs me out of the air with that, and I don't understand, maybe it was earlier, maybe I was wrong on it being later, but, you know, hopefully he can experiment with it, 30th anniversary has training modes now. <laughs> Did you get the button set? Did you want to test your buttons? Are you good? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. This is an interesting fight. So if you can throw fireballs like Alex Vai or Daigo, this fight is very hard. But that's the whole key right there. Whoops, that was supposed to be a neutral jump. There's a couple of ways around this. You can neutral jump. You can also uh, light hooligan like that. And then this is where it gets dangerous for me. That was weird. Yeah, so I have to get used to jumping a lot here. There we go. Yeah, and that's the tricky part. So that crouching medium kick can't be uppercutted. It whiffs. Yeah, <laughs> it just whiffs, which is the crazy part. So that's why I fight at that maximum range right there. Oops. So. Yeah. And so that's how I fight Ryu in this fight is I, 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 it's tip of crouching medium kick, tip crouching medium kick. And that's how you fight Ken as well, but Ken's fireball is by far worse than Ryu's, so it actually works better against Ken than it does against Ryu, which is why I actually think Cammy's even with Ken. She doesn't beat Ken, but I think she's even, so. But then you just also have to watch out for the jump, but then, oh man, I missed that. I missed that side switch. I waited. See right there, you saw the, 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 the just whiffed right through there. And that's why that crouching medium kick is such a pain to deal with for Ryu. Oops. Ow. Ah. But yeah, you can see that's why that crouching medium kick works so well because it, when Ryu uppercuts, she just can't hurt. She doesn't have a hurt box at the end of her foot. Right there. And that's the max distance that you want for your stuff anyway. Wow. used to is having Ryu's jump at me a lot, so it's something I have to get used to uh, in this against this particular player. Oh, there's a, a weird thing right there where the fireball can lean back far enough that it misses like that. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can... Ah, traded. Yeah. <laughs> I know, dude, the game is so great. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude. Like I said, hyper fighting. It's for me. It's Zangief all day. He's never been more fun. Yeah. Uh. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Okay. Not as many people play them, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know in uh. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Right. Dude, Frosty Faustings, I love coming out here. It's just so much fun. So, so yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah. And, like, it's funny because, like, after I won, he was like, God, I love this game so much. You know, even after he lost. So, you know, good stuff to him. Good stuff to him. It's awesome. And, that, like I said, that's the thing that, that, that people have to realize about fighting games, too. It's not just about even the fighting game. You want to make sure that when you play the fighting game, there's something about it that just makes you feel good, you know? And, 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 and that's kind of the thing that, like, Tekken 7 is doing so right now, so. Is that it? Is, that the, is there no more anyone left for the Chen Challenge? Okay, okay. <laughs> I think I'm out of, I, I'm out of uh, opponents here right now, so. <laughs> So I guess we'll go ahead and call the stream then. Okay, yeah, yeah. I guess we're gonna call the stream. One more. Uh, I mean, no one's challenging right now at this point. So, so I think that's. All right. What's that? Oh, okay. Will's coming up here. Will's coming up here. He's gonna play. Oh shoot. So now the question is, if I beat Will, is he never going to let me commentate again? <laughs> so Cammy wins this fight, just not against CPU. Because <laughs> the CPU is dirty. And this is the problem with Zangief in this fight, is he can't do anything to uppercut at that range. So you can just kind of do this to him all day. What the hell? Yeah, it should be default, though. It should be default. Do you want to check your buttons first real quick? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So Will, the streamer here, Will English 4. Hey, guys, if you, if you are enjoying this content... Oh, okay, okay. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you subscribe to this guy, or at least give him a follow. <laughs> give him a follow on stream. <laughs> oh. oh shoot, I missed the drill. That was a death combo right there. I missed it, I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> and you can whip punish the sweep for Ryu and Ken because it's so slow, so. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Kami has that. If she ever anti-airs with strong, she can do the cross under. But against Shoto's, if they're crouching, you have to do a light drill. If I ever do the heavy drill, you, that's only on standing Shoto's. It's very weird. Oh, shoot. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> That's super. It's like, it's like the chip people to death. Yeah. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, no problem, no problem. So, hey, if you if you throw this up on YouTube, let me know. I'll tweet it out and stuff like that. So, <laughs> yeah. No, thank you guys, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that a little bit. So, it's a little bit of fun right there. Again, you know, one of the advantages that Cammy has, honestly, is the fact that nobody knows how to fight this character. Because how often do you see a Cammy? But really, she's, she's not a strong character. There's a lot of ways to beat her up if you know how to beat her up properly. Ah! 
Oh my god, this com okay. I'm gonna lose to the computer. I'm done with against the computer. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys for watching. I'll yes, see you thank guys you. later. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, James. I appreciate that. Um everybody give him a round of applause. Thank you so much. Um so this is Will. Um uh, you're not gonna see me on camera, but I am on the on the, on the microphone. So uh thank you guys for watching today. This is Finn Frosty's day one. Uh, I have an amazing staff with me uh, that you're not going to see on camera just yet, but like we'll we'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Markle, do you have what? Uh, do you have um, the the special thing on on? Can you cue that up real quick? The special thing. Yeah, can you like cue it up? Anyway, guys.